All right, welcome to the best day of the week, chest day. Um, I was stupid as fuck, and I don't know what I did. Maybe I didn't have my mic plugged in or something, but for my ice bath, I didn't have the mic plugged in or whatever the fuck, so you didn't get to hear me suffer today. So I'm gonna have the video playing right now and I'm gonna be just talking over it while you watch me suffer. But, uh, first meal of the day. I had some McDonald's, you know, gotta love the McDonald's app. $3 and change for two double cheeseburgers. It's like 800 calories and 48 grams of protein. So, fucking deal right there. Fit, essentially 50 grams of protein for $3 and change. Fuck yeah. Like, that's amazing. And on top of that, carbs. I'm gonna have a good amount of carbs for my workout. So that's good. It's gonna fuel me right. Only bad thing, I say this every time I get McDonald's, just a little bit of cancer. A little bit of cancer is not too bad of a thing, you know? Like here and there. I really only got um, McDonald's one. Mostly the reason is because I was running late to work. Not late, I made it on time, but you know, I just had to rush and get some food, so I got that. And then, like I was saying, the carbs. The carbs are gonna be fantastically bussing for this chest day. I cannot wait for that. Um, my ice bath was two minutes long. I'm gonna talk about ice bath real quick since you guys are watching it. It should be towards the end-ish right now because I only do ice baths for two minutes every day because I don't remember why, but I watched an Andrew Huberman thing like a fucking a year ago. I made, sorry about that. My fucking camera died like an idiot. I got, I grabbed another battery, but I made a whole little like day one ice bath series, day two, day three, same thing I'm doing here like over a year ago. So I'm glad that I'm now incorporating this into my new fucking series, but um, it was on a different channel. I could eventually find it for you guys, but whatever. It was a whole shorts thing. Like, I don't really, you know me, I don't really care for uh, TikToks and Instagram reels and YouTube shorts. That's not my type of thing. So I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. But yeah, I'm gonna have to refresh on all the benefits of ice baths. But Angie Huberman, I did the math and it was like, essentially the time that you would need for uh, the benefits of an ice bath is two minutes and it's like you have to do it every day something like that and then you would get your required amount for the week but ice baths essentially have what was it one you're gonna you're gonna recover better so that's a plus you're gonna be able to work out more it has a lot of mental benefits as well um, oh, it boosts your metabolism as well. We're cutting, so that's needed. Um, the mental benefits, like learning to be able to do things that suck, but still do it. You're gonna build mental resilience and shit like that. Also, it gives you a humongous energy boost. It gives you like, I don't remember the exact drug, but it's like, it gives you the same amount of dopamine as like cocaine but instead of it lasting for like two minutes i'm not sure however long cocaine lasts but i know it's short but instead of that cocaine high only lasting two minutes it's like three fucking hours that you get that shit so the ice baths in the morning really set your day for like a good yeah your, your day is gonna be better you're gonna be more productive throughout the day because of that dopamine boost. But um, yeah, honestly, I'm so happy to be back into ice baths because fuck yeah. When I was doing them every day, I think I did them every day for like a, over a hundred days or something like that. And it, I, only, I literally only stopped because my fucking water was getting hot as hell from the summertime. Now it's winter time. And I think my, uh, the ice bath that I got will keep it relatively cold. So that's nice. It's like kind of uh, kind of insulated. 
We'll see whenever it gets becomes summertime. Worst comes to worst, if I don't want to spend the money on like a real cold plunge where it's like it actually regulates the temperature and everything like that, I'll just fucking refill the, the tub every day. It's not that big of a deal. I just go stick the hose in it, come back in 20 minutes or whatever, and I'm good. So that's fine. But uh, yeah, and that shit's cold, 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 cold. But uh, pretty sure the, oh yeah, 100% sure that the ice bath is done because I only do two minutes a day. Something to show you guys. New little lens for the camera. I'm gonna randomly pop this on throughout the workout or the video, whatever, wherever it goes on. I still haven't decided, but I'm gonna randomly put it on. And then let me know if you see like a difference or whatever. It's not a crazy camera, but I talked to two dudes that do like photography full time or something along those lines, video editing, something like that. And they both said that, like, this is the one that they both brought into the, into play. So, I'm gonna fucking go with it. Hopefully it's good. It wasn't too expensive. It was only like 150 bucks, something like that. Nothing crazy. And if it fucking makes me, if it makes the channel grow, fuck it. It was worth every penny. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm excited to see the, the camera quality on this. This isn't bad. Not at all. It's just, you know, I'm always trying to uh, find ways to improve it a little bit, improve the, the, the quality of the things. This is the new one. Oh, look at that. Wow, so fancy. Only thing, I don't think it zooms. I'm not going to lie. Don't think it zooms. So that's a tad bit annoying, but I think that's why they said for me to get it. Um, something along the lines of, I, I don't know anything about cameras, but they use the word aperture and shit like that and how my fucking smooth brain ass uh, comprehended aperture is essentially like the camera lets in a certain amount of light. So if I, uh, with this, the aperture, and that's the, the amount of light that comes in, I think, I'm not sure, um, is gonna be better, especially in dimly lit settings, like this fucking gym. Ugh. This LA has better lighting than the one I came from recently, but like, damn, bro. Like, the lighting here is not fantastic whatsoever. You, it's, it's mostly because, you know, LA's more of a, it's a gym, it's a gym, definitely, but it's more catered towards middle-aged people, that's, I don't make the rules, but yeah, let's get into the second meal, I told you about the McDonald's that I had, like a dumbass, but I mean, there's benefits to the having the McDonald's. Ah, went home, cooked this up real quick. Some, just some eggs, you know. Why are you not eating eggs, bro? Why? It has the ability to create a whole living creature. There's some good fucking shit in it. You know, obviously, hella nutrients, hella whatever the fuck. Um, and then, apple. Don't know what apples do, but you know. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. And then got some bananas, only three, which I think will suffice for the workout. I tried to do six bananas a day, but you know, it's just annoying dealing with it. I'm gonna get back on my banana grind. I've been kind of slipping, but three is fine. That will work for the workout. If you do not have enough potassium, your body is gonna use up the sodium in your body. You need to be able to be hydrated for your workouts. Uh, focus on your electrolytes. I promise you, your results will go through the roof if you just focus on being hydrated and your electrolytes. Electrolytes and hydration are the same things, essentially. But, um, yeah, literally when I started focusing on having six bananas a day, having a, like, one or two electrolyte drinks a day, 
having baking soda, making sure I'm getting, well, I've always worried about my water, but still, yeah, I guess if I didn't have water in this situation, focus on that as well. My strength shot up so much. You are 80% water. You need to be hydrated. But yeah, um, with the McDonald's and those eggs, we are about at 100 grams of protein. So we're doing pretty good so far. We just need, you know, another two meals and then we'll be good on the protein. And with that fruit and the, uh, the McDonald's, I don't see why we wouldn't have enough carbs for the workout. Ooh, I also had like two little like frosted cookies. They're very small, but like it, it's really not that many calories, but it is carbs, which I like. And that might be the difference, the, what I need for carbs at least. But uh, yeah, that's enough yapping. I might, uh, I think I'm gonna do like a little speed run of my supplements real quick before I get into the workout, the chest day, the best day of the week. So uh, yeah, I will see you at the supplements. All right, supplement time and then get into the chest day. Oh my God, this lighting is making me look so pale. Hold up, I'm just gonna turn down the exposure to make me look a little less pale. Oh my God, ah, there we go, less pale. Still pale as fuck, but still. Um, <laughs> uh, what's it called? Creatine, you know, it's 10 cents a day, go on Amazon, 20 bucks for 100 days worth. I don't know how much that is, but I'm just going with 10 cents. Super cheap, uh, everyone should be taking it. The only, only th reason people don't take creatine is simply because they forget to take it. It's annoying as fuck. So I have my gym bag on me all the time. I remember to take it. Take your creatine. I suggest setting up some type of system so that you always remember it. Like for me, I always have a Powerade or like a Gatorade every day. Right when I open up that Powerade or Gatorade, shove the fucking the creatine in there instantly so i never forget um digestive enzymes your body does not absorb all the nutrients that you put in it so you have a digestive enzyme you improve your digestive system you absorb more shit get more gains that way along with uh mental health because your mental health is really correlated with your gut health. They go hand in hand. So this is gonna help your gut as well. If your gut's feeling better, your brain's performing better, all good things. Since we're on brain health shit, nootropic, nootropic, whatever you want to fucking call it. I forget what the actual term is, but alpha brain, you know, Joe Rogan takes these. It's just gonna make your brain run quicker. Better for you too, better for me. I'm. I do sales here at LA Fitness. I gotta sell people memberships and personal training. So, helps me out and helps with YouTube like I was talking about. Um, let's go with the three that you essentially have to take together. DHEA, take that in the morning. I take 25 milligrams, you can take 50 if you want. Don't really go above that or you might break out into pimples. Take it in the morning because that's when your testosterone is the highest and it will stop the pimples. Tribolis, mix this with the DHEA. This one, I only have to take two pills, so that's nice. My other one, I had to take three, so nice. Um, plus glutamine, L-glutamine, glutamine, whatever you wanna, whichever one you wanna get. This one's just straight glutamine. But uh, my old boss, because I don't work with him anymore, I'm sad about that. But um, dude was 300 pounds, over 300 pounds, had 22 inch arms, humongous dude. So he said that he put multiple people onto those supplements right there. Mostly this, these two, the DHEA and Tribolis, but he said that you need the L-glutamine as well. So I'm just gonna include that as well. But he said that he has put multiple people, like 20, 30 people onto this shit, and they've all gained like 20 pounds. Take that shit if you want gains. My friend 
who actually edits these videos, shout out editor Seth. But um, he started taking them and he said like two days in, three days in, whichever one it was, oh my God, my brain is clearer. I can think better. I'm like, hell yeah, that's good. I mean, that's not the point of it. It's po point is to get huge, but still, that's a plus. The pre-workout that we're taking today by the, oh, these two brands actually, same dude, Fredo. He was the big IFBB Pro dude who's been showing off his supplement brand at the LA's. I've been showing you his, uh, there, he's probably been in like three videos or so, but I mean, if you scroll back in the catalog of videos, you'll find him. But uh, yeah, it's his brand, had to try out his shit. And his pre-workout, I feel like I'm on meth right now. I'm tingling like a motherfucker. Um, caffeine tablets, if, I mean, like, the pre-workout energy drinks, shit like that, not the best for you. So I try to not go over one scoop of pre slash one energy drink a day. So whenever I do do that already, and I still want caffeine in me, I'll take a caffeine pill, because I'm not drinking no fucking coffee. Coffee's ass. Um, oh fuck, did I show the multivitamin? I don't think I did. Multivitamin, shitty one from Costco. Do not get it from Costco like I did. These are severely underdosed. Multivitamin, you know, you're just gonna fucking have your nutrients and shit. It's vitamins, it's in the name. Um, I don't know if I explained glutamine actually, we're backtracking, but uh, glutamine essentially gonna help you recover after your workouts because gains are not made in the gym. When you are working out, you are breaking down the muscle. You are doing the opposite of making gains. Where you make gains is from recovery. Sleep, protein, nutrients, water, shit like that. So, very important right there. Vitamin D3, as my old boss says, you know, the 300 pound dude, he said that no hormonal production can happen without vitamin D3. So take your vitamin D3, it's gonna boost testosterone, same with the tribolus and DHEA. Um, I take 10,000 IUs a day, because that's what the testosterone boosting people say they do. I don't, know the, I don't know the science, I'm not no scientist. I just know what to do, you know what I mean? Vitamin C, last supplement. Um, you know, vitamin C stops you from getting sick. If you're sick, you're out of the gym for one or two weeks, and then it takes one or two weeks to get back to your regular strength. That's a month out of the gym. We don't wanna get sick. S sickness is one of the worst things for gains. Like literally, I would suggest vitamin C over any of these supplements strictly because you are going to make more gains by consistently going to the gym than if you don't go consistently but you, you know, you do all the fancy supplements or whatever. So, consistency is key. But uh, yeah, that is it for all the supplements. I tried to make this quicker but it's seven minutes, ugh. So uh, yeah, let's get into the workout. All right, first chest exercise. Uh, starting off, starting off with the incline. What the fuck did I just say there? St starting off, I don't know what I just said, but starting off with the incline, you know, most important part of the chest. The upper chest is what most people lack. And on top of, it gives you the fucking, that fucking visual appearance of girth. And that's what's really gonna make your like chest poses look fantastic. So always start off with the incline. Most people, I have a good upper chest, so it's really like if I wanna start with like a flat bench, that's fine with me. But incline for, I feel like most people is the way to go for first exercise. Especially if uh, like this is where you should be going heavy in quotes. I uh, injured wrist, can't do it. And you know, in the middle of a cut, so not really the best time to be seeing where my strength is. So 
not really going to be pushing heavy, but we're going to, this is our main compound, to say the least, compound movement. But, uh, what's it called, three sets, like everything else. Only got 225 on here. I, uh, I'm trying this new thing where I, uh, I did like one or two reps with 275. Now I drop it down to 225, 275 to 225, so that my body is ready for the heavy weight, so that whenever I pick up the lighter weight, it's like, whoa, that's light as fuck. You know what I mean? Priming my nervous system, I think, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, I think this is gonna be a good ass fucking set, cause I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. All that McDonald's in me, gonna show me uh, what strength really is like. Well, 190 pounds strength me at least. I'm probably lower today, I'm not gonna lie. My camera's kinda in the way. Sorry to that person. But uh, I'm probably lower than 190 now. I haven't checked my weight in like two, three days. So, it's probably something that I should do tomorrow morning. We'll do that, see what we at. Fuck, I really hope that it's not too far off of 190. That would suck if we're losing weight that quickly. Second exercise, just chest press machine, hitting that middle and lower chest. Just got done with the upper chest. So now we're trying to hit the middle and lower. Doing a machine because uh, I don't know. I keep wanting to do regular bench. Then sometimes I want to do machine. I really don't know. I just, uh, I don't know. I'm so wiped from that incline that incline barbell that I'm like, I really just wanna, I don't wanna focus on my stabilizer muscles. I just wanna focus on just pumping, 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 really getting that chest burning. So three sets of this, as many reps as possible. Really just focusing on the feeling because if you can't feel the muscle you're trying to hit, why are you even doing it? Thanks for the flight. 
Tap it, do a little drop set. third and final chest exercise. My chest is hit, 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 like I'm in pain. We're gonna hit some machine, well, pec deck flies, whatever you wanna call them. Oh, is this far enough back? Oh, it's not, hold up. There we go. I was wondering why my warm ups were like a little weird. I couldn't get the full stretch, but um, yeah, three sets of this as many reps as possible. You know, flies are mostly a, uh, a like a pump movement. 
we're really just like I'm not focusing on reps especially on here I'm doing drop sets fucking doing rest pauses whatever the fuck you know what I mean I'm just trying to put do more and more reps that's the main goal you're good sorry um yeah, so we're just trying to put a fuck ton of blood in the muscle because I always want to end off the, the workout with something that's going to put as, most, as much blood as possible in the, in the titty or whatever muscle we're working that day because I don't remember the exact scientific terms, but essentially what brings nutrients around the body? Blood. You put more blood in the area at the end more nutrients is going to go in there so that means if i take my um why am i fucking forgetting the name glutamine i take my glutamine which is going to help me recover i do that after putting all that blood in there the glutamine is going to work even better you know but that's just what i've learned I don't know if it's true or not. I'm not no fucking scientist. I can't fucking do a scientific test to figure it out. But that's just what I've been told, you know? another drop set not like a drop set drop set because if it was a drop set drop set 
I would drop the weight by half and then do double the amount of reps that I just did. It's more of like a, get a few more reps, drop set. Shoulders are starting to come into play a little bit. They're burning. Drop set, last set. Let's make this shit fucking hurt. This is the last chest fucking exercise right here. Last set after I leave today. That's all the fucking chest games that I can make today. Why the fuck would I not put it all my, my everything into it? Oh 
my chest completely gave out. Well, not completely, but like mostly. And I was only bringing shoulders into that. But whatever. Like, I bet even if my shoulders start taking over, I mean, like, don't, don't do this on something that you could get hurt. I'm doing light ass weight on here because it was like a drop set, so it doesn't matter. But even though like my shoulders were doing like 80% of the work, let's just say 80, I don't know the exact amount obviously, but let's say my shoulders were doing 80% of the work right there. I'm still putting more strain on the chest. So, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> Jesus, I'm burping like a motherfucker. All I smell is the pre that I had, but um, yeah, like my chest is still being worked. So, more chest gains, you know? <sighs> Fuck, I'm tired. Let's do some fucking lateral raises. All right, only got like 10, 15 minutes until the lights go out. 10 minutes till the lights go out. So, I am going to do two sets. The two sets that I was gonna show you flex so that I have the lights on whenever that happens and then come back and finish my other three sets in the dark. I, I do five sets for the new people. Five sets for shoulders because I don't have a designated shoulder day. I'm considering throwing an extra shoulder day or like a shoulder day in here and there. Maybe. I don't know. But like for now, my current mindset is your shoulders get hit on every single day, other than lower body. They don't need like a crazy amount of work. You know what I mean? So I hit my side delts on chest day, and then I hit my rear delts on back day. I do five sets for both. That's all I gotta do. And since I'm, uh, I know you're supposed to hit eight, but since your shoulders are being worked with everything else, I feel like those other three sets can be taken away. And with my split, since it's a four day split, chest, back, arms, legs, the split that I've been doing for like, I don't know, three years now, two years now, something like that, I'm not sure, but a long time. So um, since I do that, it is, if I don't take a rest day, then it takes eight days for me to hit the same body part twice. If I do, then it's nine. That's close enough to that week for me, where even if it's literally this was my only side delt movement, I would still be hitting 10 sets of side delt by the end of the week. You know, the certain amount of the eight, nine day split, however long it would be depending on if I take a rest day. So yeah, let's hit this shit before the lights go out.
two things I forgot to say. On the fly, I'm pointing at it like you fucking can tell what I'm looking at. The fly's right next to this, what I was just doing. But on the fly, that stretch part, the most important part of the movement, hands down. I, there was a dude next to me that was doing everything but the stretch. He was going, instead of, you know what I'm saying? That stretch part is the most important movement part, I mean, part of the movement, period. Hands down. Especially on a fly, whenever you are doing presses the whole time for chest, and then you add that fly in where there's that extra range of motion, it is so important. If you are cutting out that stretch part of the fly, you need to just say, fuck the ego, I'm gonna lower the weight. I'm gonna lower the weight and get that stretch in and make it harder because, excuse me, Jesus Christ, I'm burping. <laughs> um, because why the, f you're doing this to get jacked, right? Or are you doing it to impress the people around you? You're, get, you're doing this for you. Yes, in a, in a sense, you're doing it for everyone else because you want to, you want to walk around and feel good about yourself because everyone else looks at you and goes, I wish I could do that, right? That there is that portion. But at the end of the day, you are cheating yourself out of gains. You are making your progress slower. You are, you are making the time between now and your goal take longer because you want to impress the person next to you that isn't gonna give a fuck about you in the next three minutes once you're done with that machine. You know what I mean? So fuck all of them. Lower the weight, control the weight, get a good stretch, quality reps. Don't do it for them. You're doing it for you, bro. Now, <laughs> on um, lateral raises. Big dude, humongous shoulders. He said that his main, he says that doing partials on lateral raises, once you can't do any full range of motion, and then you're just pumping them out down here, he says that he contributes all of his side delt development to the, that, those heavy partials. So don't be afraid to just sit there for 30 seconds and just pump, 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 pump. You know what I mean? Ugh! <laughs> 
I am so upsetty spaghetti. I totally forgot about using the lens. It doesn't even fucking matter because it doesn't fit my camera. I'm so pissed. Fuck, bro. And I like, I literally looked up like <laughs> lenses for my model camera. I thought I was doing the right thing. I don't know cameras. I'm so upset. <laughs> So now I have to return it. Fuck. That's so annoying. I hate returning things from Amazon. Fuck. All right. Well, we're sticking with old reliable for now. I guess I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll fucking return it. I don't know. Usually whenever I get an Amazon package, I, in like, it's usually not something expensive like this. So I, if I don't want it anymore or whatever, I just don't return it. <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, whatever. But last, no, second to last meal of the day. I've already eaten some. Um, I literally just picked a rotisserie chicken apart and I put six ounces of chicken breast on there. And then I added a leg because I like the leg. But, um, so at least 50 grams of protein there, 50 grams of protein plus a leg's worth of protein. Then we just need to have a protein shake, which I won't be showing because it's a fucking protein shake. Do you guys really need to see me put powder in a thing and shake it up and then be like, whoa, look, liquid. No, you don't give a fuck. But uh, with that protein shake, I will have my 200 grams of protein for the day. Yippee. But, um, yeah, it's so late. I'm so tired. But I got to work on that, uh, that thing I was talking about, the school community. I don't know. I've talked about it like once or twice. But, um, creating a school community. S-K-O-O-L, not how school is regularly, regularly pronounced or spelled, whatever. I'm so tired, my brain's not working. But um, for any of you that don't know, it is like a little community platform where we can all interact and then all learn from each other. And then I'm also going to have like courses in there where it's like, what's it called? Everything I know about training everything I know about dieting, everything I know about supplements, et cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? I'm still building it, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, I think I'm going to start it at like, because like it's going to be, 
I just need a base built before I can start releasing it. And you know what gave me so much confidence today? Someone um, DM'd me on Instagram and was like, can I buy your training split? And I was like, Who, who's gonna tell him that I record my whole thing? Like the fuck? <laughs> like I don't be posting on Instagram or TikTok, so it's not like they didn't know. They came from my YouTube, so. That's a little weird, but, uh, yeah, so I told him, I'm like, no, nah, you can fucking, you can buy this community, this community thing I'm going to be releasing. The, um, I think I'm going to start it at, like, 10, 20 bucks. It's a monthly occurring revenue thing. I like that part. I don't like that it's, uh, I like that every person, like, if you actually enjoy it, you continue to pay for it monthly that means like you're gonna stick around and that money's gonna be constantly coming to me and I don't have to worry about like selling one like continuously selling pre-workout or whatever supplement I would buy courses whatever the fuck I don't have to worry about that because it's like once you buy in you're paying monthly and for you OGs, everyone before, I guess, blowing up, whenever that happens, you will, uh, you'll get the cheapest price possible. I'm going to have it at like 10, 20 bucks a month. At first, let all the OGs get in, price locked at that, so that you guys get that, uh, that founder fee for the OG fee. And then later on, as I add more stuff and it gets more built and established, then the price will go up. We'll see. I, I'm not a huge fan of uh, making it like crazy expensive because I don't know. I still have like a little bit of morals, <laughs> but uh, I don't even know why I'm. Why am I talking about this? We're not even at that point yet. But like, still in the future, I don't plan on it being like crazy expensive. Just because, uh, I don't know, I'd like for everyone to be able to get in. We'll see. Maybe I'll be eating my words and greed will get to me. <laughs> but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. It will go up with how valuable it is. <laughs> but, um, I feel like there's something that I'm missing that I need to say. But my brain is so tired. So, I'm sorry if I'm missing something. But, uh, yeah. So, I'll see you. Oh, wait. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you tomorrow for back.